like to introduce Logan Welch from Carlsbad High School. <laughs> ben Maley from Chula Vista High School. <laughs> Ramona DeModo, an artist from Chula Vista High School. <laughs> and Vienna Gamble, an artist from Chula Vista High School. <laughs> but, oh. And Danielle, okay, and Heather Noonan. Great. Um, I'd like to ask each of you to share how you got into the arts. When, as you're, you were going through your educational career, did you realize that the arts was something that was really going to be valuable for you? Okay, so I'm Logan. Um, I'm with Carlsbad High School's uh, CHSTV, which is uh, like video broadcasting. So we have a live uh, news broadcast every single morning, um, and we broadcast live to our school. It's about 3,000 people watching every morning, um, and we do all kinds of video production that way. Um, I knew I wanted to get involved because in uh, middle school we had like feeder programs. So we had programs in the middle schools that would start you out where you kind of learn the basics about the program. And then once you're done with that, you move into the, uh, the high school program from there. So I got on uh, early. I've been doing it for about two years there. And then now I've been doing two years in Carlsbad High School. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, I'm Ben Maley. Um, and uh, I don't know how it happened. It just, <laughs> no. Uh, so basically, um, I didn't know. I, I entered into middle school. Um, our our high school, Chula Vista High School, has a Chula Vista Middle School, but I did not go there. I started with um, kind of the same kind of thing, um, but in eighth grade, I changed over and started playing guitar and doing jazz band when I played drum set, and then I realized, like, oh my gosh, like, music is, is awesome, you know? And I, ca I can do it. It's, it's so much fun. So I entered uh, ninth grade into the marching band at Chula Vista High School, um, which had actually just been started the year prior, kind of revamped and they started um, the the marching band again with the new director and uh, I got a chance to play marching bass drum and then from there I just got better and pushed myself harder and harder and it's it's not only taught me to uh, the thing I love about music is it not only teaches you to collaborate with others and learn how to blend and balance and work with others in everything you're doing um, in order for a bigger goal but also to work with yourself and test yourself and push yourself. And that's something that uh, I feel that every student deserves is, is not to just be taught stuff and just kind of reciprocate that outwards. And, you know, like maybe they didn't even learn anything, but through this, it's kind of, <clears throat> you get to learn and you get to produce results that display that accordingly. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ravonna. <laughs> um, I'm a visual artist. I've been doing visual arts my whole life, so I'm not used to public speaking. Please forgive me. Um, I have always been interested in doing art because my mom has really pushed me towards that. Um, but I got into my uh, school's SCPA, the School of Performing Arts program, at Chula Vista Middle, and I've been taking art classes ever since. And these last two years, I've been taking AP Studio Art. So I'm really um, pushing towards the visual arts, and I really like it because I can express myself without having to talk <laughs> and be nervous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Vienna Gamble. Um, I come from a family who's been in the arts. My father was an artist, and my mother was a dancer. So at a very young age, I was enrolled into a performing arts musical program in my elementary school. And from there, I've been at Chula Vista Middle School and uh, Chula Vista High School as a visual arts major. I'm Heather. Um, I go to the Coronado School of Performing Arts. I started dance when I was probably six because I had way too much energy for my mom to handle. <laughs> um, and then I just stuck with it. And now I love it. Um, I've been doing all kinds of different things with dance, and I, too, don't like public speaking because I dance. So I express with movement and not words, so yeah. 
Hi, I'm Danielle. I'm also at Coronado School of the Arts in the Musical Theater and Drama program. And I started in middle school at Coronado Middle School. There's a performing arts class and I just kind of fell in love with show tunes and was like, oh yeah, show tunes. Like, I'll do the musical theater and drama program. Musical theater, who really cares about drama, you know? Yeah. Like, whatever. And then freshman year, I had a Shakespeare class and I was like, whoa. Like, I discovered that Shakespeare was what I was really drawn to and acting and I started realizing it was more the drama that really intrigued me and human nature and I just, became so intrigued by it all that um, now my focus is on acting and I think I love it because it helps me to express myself but I also feel like I can learn so much about the world through theater and I'm just really grateful for that opportunity. Thanks. Great. Now one of the things that we as educators are charged with, especially in career technical education, is being sure that students understand the connection between what's, what they're learning in the classroom and what they're going to be doing with those things they learn once they get out of the classroom. How do you feel like your education is supporting your career goals? Let's just start down here. Um, well, I feel like it's helping me a lot. In our COSA classes, we have a lot of collaboration and we're with the same group of students all four years. And in doing that, uh, we've created these bonds that really um, bring out the creativity out of all of us. We also have show business classes, so even though we don't always want to, we learn a lot about the business side of the arts. Um, and just, I think, having different classes like theater history and stuff like that, it really um, helps us learn about the career. <laughs> Um, also, in our COSA classes, we have to take uh, like dance history and learn about where dance came from. So that um, really lets us into the world of dance, I think. And um, with the COSA classes I've been taking, it's opened my mind to a whole new style of dance. I originally was a competition dancer, so I had a very narrow mind on dance. And once I went to COSA, I had a very... Uh, broad view on the artistic side of dance, which I think really opens a lot of doors for all of the dancers there. Um, Chula Vista has a very unique uh, campus where all of our majors, whether you're dance or drama or art, um, and even band and orchestra come together to create beautiful, beautiful musicals and halftime performances. So at our campus, we really have a, a great culture of just coming together, despite your major, to make amazing performances. And I think our school is really good at uh, promoting uh, different majors to get together and create anything, not just musicals. We all are very good at just mixing with each other. We're not very clicky at our school. Um, I absolutely agree with Vienna. We're both in the technical theater program as well, so we have been um, converted by our stage tech teacher from <laughs> art just to make art for everything at the school. <laughs> so we have painted benches, we've uh, built the sets for the musical and painted signs and stuff. And that's really taught, um, taught us how to convert our skill into something practical that we can eventually make money off of. Like, I'm confident that I could open a small business of just painting signs or something practical like that. So it's really helping us with that. Because you've done it so many times. <laughs> um, I'm a band major, uh, once again, but I've built sets before and <laughs> by, because we've all been converted by our teacher. Now he's fantastic. Um, and uh, I've actually played for the main attraction. I've played at, at uh, performances for them. I've played... Uh, whatever they need me to. And even in eighth grade, when I was at uh, the other middle school, not Chula Vista Middle School, um, Mr. Atienza, the teacher of them, he brought me to Disneyland and I played for them as well. So um, I have, just all of us have so many connections within the school of uh, the dance, the dance teacher, Miss Navarrete, there has, has had me do stuff for um, like the Young Black Scholars Assembly. And I've, I've done many different things and know, um, almost all the different arts teachers just through them kind of allowing everybody to 
uh, join in with different things. It's not like, oh, all the dancers are only allowed to be with the dancers. It's like the dancers are, there. we have dancers and color guard people and mariachi majors all in MA. Like, and they all come together to do something that amazing. Uh, so they really promote um, not only that, but uh, learning life skills. Um, for me personally, <clears throat> being able to work with that many different people has been such a blessing. And uh, learning how to do uh, auditions definitely um, has helped me. I've gotten accepted to a few different colleges and, as a music major. Um, one of them as a double major in music, which is fantastic. And, and learning how to do auditions and being a part of the district honor band, uh, Sweetwater District Honor Band twice, um, once as a percussion uh, first chair. So that was a really awesome experience too. Uh, so we're being taught nonstop by our teachers, not just here's the basic things you need to know. Like I've learned a bunch of music theory inadvertently because our, our teacher makes sure to teach us the best way he can. And so, um, I mean, you're getting every aspect of the art in these schools, and it's, it's fantastic. So in CHSTV, every morning when we come in, um, our teacher, Mr. Green, has a <coughs> cup with popsicle sticks in, him, uh, in it with all of our names on it. So every single morning, we get basically a different job around the studio. Um, we're either on the desk anchoring or we're uh, behind the studio, um, like switching cameras or you know operating the cameras. So through that system, we learn um, like all of the different sides of what what you do in in a broadcast and I think that that's really important um, Because now like from from my standpoint. I know how to you know work the whole program So if if somebody's gone for a day, then you know somebody's available to uh, fill in for them um, That makes sense in high school, but then going on further from that like I'm prepared for so many different job Opportunities now like I don't even know if I want to go into like sound design or being an anchor or a journalist um, But I have all those options for me because of the ability for the program to teach you a wide array of different subjects Great now yesterday in the afternoon. We had a panel of people who at one point were like you they were part part of arts, media, and entertainment programs, and they had moved on. And some of them had gone to careers in the arts, and some of them had gone to careers outside the arts, but used what they learned in the arts. So for the final question, I'd like to ask each of you where you see yourself in 10 years. <laughs> OK, so 10 years from now, um, I don't know, hopefully not living in a van down by the river. But uh, <laughs> um, you know. Um, I, so as I was saying, like there's a lot of different opportunities, and even with all of the things that we've mentioned, like having one start in something small, um, like technical theater, I know there's a lot of ways you can go with that. Um, so having one small place to start, like uh, like broadcasting, can give you so many opportunities, um, and there's a lot of overlap too. Um, but it's it's also just important to make sure that um, you know, like. I'm, I'm going to have so many opportunities because um, of a visual arts program because it's applicable in so many places. Um, hopefully, maybe some sort of, uh, what's his name, John Stewart or something like that, yeah. Stephen Colbert. I, I love those shows. I love to make people laugh, so something like that. Or Steve Hartman, um, if you guys are familiar with him. He does uh, CBS's uh, shows, um, just going around the country finding interesting people. So. Maybe something like that 10 years down the road would be Great, fun. thanks. That's awesome. Um, yeah, once again, I agree with uh, using, it, we've been taught so many different life skills that no matter, I feel like no matter what I do, if I go into accounting, <laughs> I'm not going into accounting. Um, <laughs> if I did, that would, uh, but um, I'm sorry if there's any accountants out there. Um, being being taught all these life skills of how to how to work with people and how to collaborate for a greater good and how to work with myself that transfers over into anything you could possibly do um in terms of seeing myself down the road in 10 years i mean there's the obvious stuff i hope to have a family and i hope to have a degree maybe a master's um in music but i also hope to with music i was just explaining this to one of my friends was in music there are so many different, like the, the arts, honestly, guys, the arts runs everything in this nation. Like <laughs> politics, how do you, how do you, <laughs> it's true, it's true. Um, I mean, you have anything, politics, the, I mean, the news is arts in and of itself, um, everything that you're doing, and haha. <laughs> the, poli the politics seems, uh, politics these days seems like the arts, doesn't it? Um, theater. 
But uh, honestly, the arts is driving everything, is the driving force. So um, I can see myself personally doing um, anything from touring, um, like something like Stomp. You guys remember Stomp? It was my favorite thing. It's touring Stomp or being in uh, the pit orchestra for a Broadway musical or being in a symphonic band um, or an orchestra somewhere in a symphony or being part of an orchestra for a musical score, a video game score, or television, little, the little jingles that they create. Somebody created that because they were, love music. And um, so those things really are the driving forces, I guess, in our nation. Vienna and I have been accepted to art schools, and so um, I got accepted to Chicago School of the Art Institute recently, and I'm gonna go there, which, <laughs> which means 10 years I'm still gonna be in debt, but <laughs> hope, I just love the arts so much, and I love to learn so much, so if I can, I would still be in school, because I love to learn. Um, I would probably prefer to travel as well. But I, the, with the arts, like he said, you can go anywhere. And I know that what I'm learning now is gonna help me in the future for whatever I do, if it's, if it's uh, painting or uh, theater or even fashion. I know that I have a place somewhere in, in the world of the arts. So I'm confident that I'll be, I'll be fine. <laughs> As Mona said, we're probably going to be in debt still. <laughs> um, uh, I was accepted to Rhode Island School of Design. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. So I hope that um, I get a strong foundation in design and that I continue in doing settings for maybe TV or musicals or anything along those lines. I just know, along with Ramona, that I'll. I'll be okay. I'll figure out something. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I too will be in debt. Um, <laughs> but I have uh, I think, this. I think I see a thread here. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to mention we're also going to be in debt. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone here, we all have that in common. Uh, but I have this dream to set up a my own performing arts school like the one I attend, but in Tijuana, Mexico, because I teach at an elementary school there right now in a very, very poor part, and I want them to have somewhere where they can continue the education that they have in the arts, like I did. So yeah, that's where I'd like to be in 10 years. Well, acting is my main passion, and this summer I'm studying at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Arts, and then I'm going to UCLA to get a BA in theater. And thank you. Um, and I hope to get out of that just, you know, learning as much as I can um, and being able to apply that not only to acting, but I also like directing. And I have, I'm just really intrigued by a lot of different jobs in theater. Um, and in 10 years, I would like to just somehow be making a living off of doing what I love. Um, a lot of actors' goals are to make it to Broadway or, you know, be in a big film. And as much as I would love that, I, I know I'd be completely content just doing what I love every day in some way. And um, a big goal of mine is to run my own all-female Shakespeare company. So hopefully I'll do that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I... I think it's pretty clear that all of you are going to have very bright, bright futures, and I really appreciate your coming and sharing your stories with the folks here, because you're, you guys are the reason that we come to work every day. And so I appreciate the, the time you've taken to come and share with us. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you. <laughs>